This video is designed to be a guide. Please note that other complications may exist that aren't addressed in this guide. While we always strive to provide accurate and detailed information, we can't guarantee that it will fix your TV's issues. Shop Jimmy is not responsible for any harm that you may cause to yourself or damage to your TV during the repair process. Try all repairs and troubleshooting at your own risk. Be sure to take all the proper safety precautions. In this video we will show a TV that will not turn on and how to test for standby voltages on the LG power supply part number EAY628 10801. Although there are many factors that can affect the TV, we are showing the first steps in troubleshooting if your TV will not power on. In these troubleshooting steps, we will use a multimeter to check for certain voltages. In order to continue troubleshooting, be sure you have the proper training, experience, skills, and equipment necessary to use a multimeter to check voltages in a TV. Try all repairs and troubleshooting at your own risk. The first thing that I can do is to check and see if there's a standby light in the front of the TV. Some TVs have the ability to show a standby light, while others do not. If I do see a standby light on the front of the TV, that shows that I do have some power going to the TV but it will just not turn on. We will continue troubleshooting. I have removed the back cover off the TV and I will use my meter to check the standby voltage on the power supply. The first thing I will do is identify the power supply in the TV. Then look for a cable that runs from the power supply to the main board. You can look and see that the power supply board has a legend on it showing which pins show what voltages. We have highlighted the two areas that we want to test and they are labeled 3.5 V for 3.5 volts standby. Here is an image of our probe in the correct test points. Before I begin testing, I will be sure that my TV is plugged in. After you have checked the pins, if you do have the 3.5 volt standby on your meter, then it shows that you do have standby and it is recommended to replace the main board. After you have checked the pins and you do not have the 3.5 volt standby on the meter, then it is recommended to replace the power supply board. This testing is a great place to start for troubleshooting these symptoms. In some rare cases, if you do have standby and your TV will not power on, the problem could also be a component on the power supply board. 